I believe that God has given me three gifts. Empathy, which I inherited from my mother, perception, and the ability to beat the odds. Sometimes. Stay tuned to find out what I mean when I talk about some airsoft stories and tales from the arcade. So at Twin Cities Airsoft, at the Giant Game 3, I forgot to mention that I won uh, at the raffle. I actually won a, a G&G TR-418, and I was so happy to receive one of these. Like, these retail at approximately $400. I didn't know that at the time. Like, I thought this was like a combat machine, but when I found that out, I was ecstatic and decided to keep it. I almost thought about selling it. Um, I've actually decided to name it Midget Slayer, specifically designed to assassinate um, Ishvan, a uh, well-respected player at uh, Iron Man Paintball. In fact, he's actually the owner of the field. Um, other stuff that I've won at raffles, I mean, uh, my colleague Blitz admits that almost every raffle that we've ever attended, at least one of us has won something. For example, he won actually some pr prototype BBs, so that was kind of neat. Um, in the past, I've actually won a uh, two t-shirts, well, a t-shirt and a shotgun, but I traded the t-shirt for a I mean, the shotgun for a t-shirt because I was cold and I figured that the teammate that I switched it with, um, he, he didn't have one as far as I knew, so I thought it'd be nice for him to have one. And I was cold, so I wanted the extra warmth. Um, I've also won a, um, a orange smoke grenade, and I also, and yeah, that's really about it. Uh, there's also um, another thing that I won, a, uh, this silver pocket watch. Um, at the Walmart, the North Walmart, uh, where I live in Rochester, uh, there was a, a Whistle Stop arcade machine, and I remember it came out like in 2004, 2005, or a really long time ago, and I saw this silver pocket watch, and I've always wanted to get it, and uh, over the years, I've tried and tried to get it at the arcade machine, and finally I won it, and it actually broke the machine. Like, it was stuck there, and I had to, like, shake it and shake it and shake it till it came out, and I got it, and when I opened it and looked at it, the, uh, the clock itself died. That's how long it's been sitting there for, and I thought that was hilarious. Uh, but it's just a testament to my determination, I believe. Um, another gift, I believe, that God has given me as well. I don't use that one as often because it usually ends up more trouble than it's worth. Anyways, uh, this silver pocket watch was actually used in uh, Murder at Cafe Noir. As, my as I added more character to my portrayal of Simon Gutterman, I decided to use a uh, pocket watch to... When I, when I re made references to time, and it it fit the character, I think, a shyster. But yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, there was also another time. It was actually earlier today. Uh, well, I'll, well, I'll just let the clip speak for itself. So I'm at uh, Walmart North in Rochester, and I was playing the crane game. Spent two bucks, and on my second try, I got a pair of uh, these uh, Purple Assault stereo headphones. So uh, just looking forward to playing with those. Once I'm done with this, it's, uh, right now, uh, the hooks somehow got wedged in between the box. This is like a one in a million chance, man. So, yeah. Oh, man. What are the odds? Yeah, this thing was uh, stuck on the hook for approximately 10 minutes. I had to call an employee to come and help out, and they said, Oh, we don't deal with that. You'll have to call the shop. Uh, the number's on the machine. Uh, and you'll have to wait till tomorrow morning, and I'm like, no! And, like, I, by the time they get here, it's probably gonna fall off anyways. So what I did was I just shook up the machine as much as possible, and about ten minutes later, this came down, and I left really happy. Um, so, yeah, I've actually been looking into upgrading my uh, audio game. I'm looking at getting a pair of Sennheiser's uh, headphones. Um, so I'm just gonna give these to my mother. Um, a long time ago, I actually borrowed her headphones, and uh, broke them. So it's about time that I got her a replacement. So 
Anyways, thank you very much for watching this vlog, and I hope to see you in the next video.